Hey guys, welcome to the Gumboot Garden. So tonight we're on a bit of a stealth mission. Our goal is to catch the rat. I'm hoping there's just one rat, but there may be a family of rats. We're about to find out. Last summer, there was a rat around here, at least one rat that I saw and he was getting into my tomatoes, eating them just before they were ready for picking. He was digging around in my garden. He had tunneled a hole into the bottom of my garden bed and I was doing everything I could to keep him out. So I had tried peppermint oil and spreading that all around, cutting up onions and putting those around the edges of my garden. I have taken my onion tops and cut those off and spread them around in the raised garden bed. I've let the dog through. I've tried a loads of different things to try and scare him off. Now, <laughs> last summer, he did not care. He would be in the garden with me. I'd turn around and I'd see a little rat just sitting on a mound of compost watching me garden. So we can't have that this year, especially if he's going to, or she is going to have a family and have babies. I went to the store the other day and I did buy a rat trap. It's a humane one, so we're not killing any rats here. It's simply a <laughs> catch and release rat trap. I plan on putting some peanut butter on the rat trap in hopes that he will like that and catch as many as we can to get them out of the garden before vegetables start to grow. So I'm not sure if you guys remember, but when we were planting carrots, I said, I hope the rat doesn't come in and dig around all of the edges where I planted the carrots. And he has done just that. So none of the carrots on this end have started to sprout. I've also planted radishes. Now there are a couple that have sprouted, but if you look, there's nothing else that has come up. But, oh, there's a couple there. But then you get here. Now that is an egg, my friends. <laughs> Something has come into the garden and had a little feast on a bird egg in my raised garden pit. And I have a feeling that was the rat as well. There are no trees around for this egg to have fallen from. It simply had to have been brought here into this wide open space. So that is clue number two of a rat still being here in this new spring garden year. Okay, so another clue that a rat has been in here is that he's dug all along the edge of my garden bed on this side as well. And now this is where all my beans have been planted. And as you can see, a lot of them are growing really nicely, but there are so many empty spaces around the whole bed. And oh, when you look over there, what's that? Somebody has been digging there as well. And all along that edge and along here. So that's clue number three, guys. Now, there still is one more clue that the rat is still around in this new garden season, and we can't see it quite so well anymore, but around the edge of my garden area, there were some little holes in the weeds that it looked like something was passing through there. And then I saw in my new garden area where I'd put some soil down that it looked like there was a pathway going across the soil. So <laughs> I also believe that that is where he's coming in and out of the garden, which is a different spot than I noticed him last year. Let me go get the rat trap and we're going to get this set up. I found a spot to put the trap that's close to where I believe the rats are entering the garden. I'm just going to push this part in and then grab the handle to lift it up. And then I'm going to hook it here, which I'm not sure if you can see, but there is a little latch right in here um, that's hooked now. And that's keeping the door open. Now towards the back there, there's a big large plate. When the rat goes in there, he'll step on that plate and press it down. As soon as it gets pressed down, it will trigger the door to release and close him in there. So hopefully by tomorrow morning, we will have our friendly little rat trapped in this cage for a release. What's in our cage today? That's not a rat at all. That's a little hedgehog. Were you eating all the peanut butter? You Are you the one getting into my garden beds as well? No rat today, but we got this poor little guy. Hey buddy, let's get you out of here. Watch out. You have to go back. Go on. I think it's only a 
baby. No, I think he's not a baby. He's awfully big. He blends in very well. He knows his way.